Hi bros, I'm Leo from Indonesia and this is gonna be the full review of Fellow Prismo. Usually I'm doing a review in Indonesian, but recently European Coffee Trip YouTube channel has encouraged me to do more English video. So I'm gonna do this in English and previously I've doing the unboxing also in English. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it in the previous video. Well actually, making a review in English is also a challenge for me, but challenge accepted. Okay, first let's talk about the build quality. Well, it's made from plastic, metal, and also rubber. First, the cap. The cap is made from plastic. It's a very well-made plastic, very sturdy, with a smooth edges. Second, the metal filter. Of course, it's made from metal, with ID micron filter, and surrounded by rubber gasket. Third, we want to talk last but not least the valve if you can take a look closer it made from rubber but it also formed in prism so that's what make this product call prismal that's what i think okay enough with the build quality now I'm going to make you an espresso style of coffee just like the instruction says. And after that, I'm going to show you how to make a regular cup of coffee with my not so secret recipe of AeroPress. And I hope you're going to enjoy this. Okay, now I'm going to make you an instructions espresso style of coffee. Okay, what you need is first of course a rolling boiling water here and then a fellow prismo of course and then this is the aeropress coffee maker i have the lattice edition and then uh, this is shot glasses i'm using suji premium handcrafted this is made in indonesia very good quality of glass and then uh, aeropress spoon this is for stirring the coffee of course the timer, yep, and then digital scale, and also the most important thing, the coffee. I'm using Sumatran Mandalin coffee, this is Indonesian coffee, and I grind it in Latina 600N on 1.5 scale. This is very fine, like just like espresso grind. Okay, and then First, put the cap on. Okay. Put the glass on the scale. And then turn on the scale. Just pour the coffee, right? Pour the coffee. I'm using 20 grams of coffee. Oops, sorry. I just messed it up. Okay, now 19.9. Just pretend it 20, okay? 20 grams of coffee to 50 milliliters of water or to 50 grams of water so it's 1 to 2.5 ratio okay sorry for the messed up let's stir it yep level it and then pour the rolling boiling water just 50 gram, 50 grams of water. Oops, I got it more, a little bit more, but it's okay. Now we've got to stir it for 10 times, 10 times just like the instruction says. Okay, and then turn on the timer. Just one minute. Steep for one minute. Not more and not less. We can put the lid on, but the plunger on, but don't do it because you're gonna burst the coffee out of the fork. 
because a tiny pressure just can open the valve in this kind of situation so just wait until the time okay it's almost the time five four three two one okay that's the time let's plunge it down i'm gonna show you from below okay wait okay let's do it whoa okay we can see bubbles in the air it's a bit foamy big bubbles foamy crema or we cannot call it crema right it's just espresso style yep that's all okay this is the coffee when i put the camera back the crema has gone it's okay but the most important thing is the taste right let's taste this oh my god i just can't believe this it's really good you know what this is it tastes like almost like espresso but not espresso it has the body it has the syrupy like body i mean and then the taste is so concentrated you can taste the sweetness in it the acidity is also good and by the way i'm using indonesian coffee it's sumatran mandolin coffee it's a medium to dark roast so i think it's a good to make espresso with it can't believe it it's so good well it's not a real espresso i tell you what this is a good quality of small coffee it's very concentrated maybe it's just like reality mocha express or something like that but the taste is better i think yeah it's espresso like maybe it's better than espresso like there's almost no bitterness in it well it's a very good small cup of coffee okay now i'm gonna make uh, my not so secret aeropress recipe all you need it's still the same but now i'm using this aeropress funnel learning from the previous lesson right you don't want to mess it up twice and then now um, i'm using this bigger glass this is a duralex glass it's very sturdy it's we can call it james bond glass and then now we're using still the same coffee but i'm using medium to coarse grind still using latina 600n and it is on five in the scale you can see it it's medium to coarse you can use any grinder just use it medium to coarse grind and now um okay we need this temp because i'm gonna brew it uh, around 84 to 86 degree of celsius let's start it screw the cap okay put the glass turn on the scale also the arrow press and then pour in the coffee ground okay wait, wait using the funnel pour the coffee ground in and then yep i'm using 16 gram of coffee to 160 grams of water so it's my ratio one to ten right okay there first turn on the timer 
set it to two minutes okay two minutes and then pour the water just 30 grams of water for blooming process oops got it a little bit more but it's okay start the timer wait until 130 okay till 130 we pour again the water we add 130 grams of water so 160 grams in total right that's it 130 let's pour another water yeah just pour the water okay a little bit more that's it that's 160 grams in total right okay okay you you now you gotta stir it five times only five times why five times because only five times stir you can see that all the grounds has been fully saturated so that's it just let the water extract the coffee okay okay that's 30 and we just plunge it down another 30 seconds okay let's plunge it down okay looking good here very slowly very slowly until you he hear the hissing noise four three two one yep that's it just in time okay turn it off yep oh no no oh wait i'm gonna show you how to clean it it's a very easy step to clean this aeropress with prismo i'm gonna show you how first don't open the cap don't but instead you pull the plunger okay pull the plunger and then yep yep pull it and then you can see that it will make a dome shape just like um siphon coffee maker right and then what to do next is pour a hot water in it just a little bit just a little bit hot water okay shake it off and then dump it okay try once again okay just to clean all the coffee ground okay just pour it and then ta-da your aeropress is ready to go again it's really simple right it's just like using the paper filter it's a very simple cleaning process so i i really love this product okay i have shown you my not so secret recipe to make an aeropress coffee so this is the coffee let's test it first well first I, i'm gonna say this it's gonna be a lie for me to not like my own recipe and, and my brewing so i'm not gonna overrate it you can try my recipe and you can taste it for yourself and tell me what you thought on a comment down below right <sighs> this is a very great cup of coffee it's a very well balanced coffee it's very clean you can see it's almost no ground in it it's very clean i'm amazed with this fellow you can taste the sweetness you can feel the body in your mouth you can taste the fruitiness also so it's a well well balanced cup of coffee and i really love this i'm gonna i can drink this all day long it's just very good i really like my addition fellow prismo this on my aeropress coffee because this is what i'm gonna tell you why this is the best accessory for your aeropress first with this you don't need to do an inverted method anymore right let me show you if you do the inverted aeropress method believe me 
once in a while you're gonna experience especially when you do the full cup like this you're gonna experience and the coffee just messed up all around you just like I did but with this with this prism valve right you can do um, superpowers like the box says superpowers for your aeropress coffee maker is yes, like the your the box says because it has a pressure actuated fault so no drip seals right this is that's the first thing and the second with this 80 micron filler you don't need this anymore okay well everybody says right and we all know that our press is the best on its own right Alan Adler is a genius person I think the world has thanked him for this product because it it can make a, a regular coffee become a good coffee a good coffee become better coffee uh, a very good coffee become the best coffee you, you ever taste right just with this with the cap the inverted method and anymore but this attachment accessories it's just make it just just makes it really exciting right it's just make it really I'm not saying it's the best for everyone but it makes the Aeropress has the superpower um, for the the, the the espresso style coffee I have shown you before that it's a good cup of coffee it's it's it has the richness in espresso but it doesn't have crema because it's a it has a big foamy crema right it's not a crema for you to experience it and for if you if you're looking for the real espresso you can go for Caflano Compresso I have it I've used it I bought it I, I, I brought it for my trip and it's really good I, I brought it to mountain if you like to check it out and I, I make a good espresso there it's a very good real espresso but you cannot compare with this because this is because they just don't advertise it as espresso it's just espresso style and I think it's better than espresso style it has its own class right and yeah that's it I think you don't need that paper filter anymore maybe occasionally right you just need this and don't forget that I show you the very simple step to 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 clean up it's very easy to clean up what more can I say I just love this product this is not a paid promotion I just love it and I just review it based on my subjectiveness right this is what I thought about this product I hope you're gonna enjoy this and see you again in another video and don't forget salam kopi I love Indonesia